I want to share with you some of my favorite, favorite properties about logarithms. And where do I always start with a logarithm? I start with just reminding ourselves what the definition of it is. So let's take a look. If I say y equals log b of x, what does that mean? Well, a log equals the exponent that I have to raise the base b to in order to get x. So check it out. So a log y is the exponent I have to raise b to in order to get x. So this statement and this statement are identical. And the greatest challenge we have in understanding logs is literally just getting that two statements to really be one. Once we understand that y equals log base b of x means that b to the x equals, I mean, b to the y equals x, you see? then we're going to be on a road to success. Anyway, armed with this, we can prove all sorts of really, really cool fun facts. First of all, log base b of 1 is always going to be 0. Why? Because log is the exponent that I have to raise b to to get 1. So b to what power gives me 1? Well, b to the 0 equals 1. So that's why this is true. Cool. Here's another fun fact, always true log base b of b equals 1. Why? Log is the exponent that I have to raise b to in order to get this, in this case b. So b to what power equals b? Well, b to the first power equals b. So log base b of b is 1. Now, the next two are two of my favorites. They're a little bit tricky. The first one's OK. The second one is like a mathematical tongue twister. The first one says, Log base b of b to the x equals x. Let's think about that. A log is an exponent. So this is the exponent I have to raise b to in order to get b to the x. Well, yeah, that's x because b to the x. So b to the x. There it is. That's tricky. But even more tricky is the last one, which this took me years to really, really understand. But it's kind of the opposite of this in a way. It says if I raise b to the log base b of x, it equals x. I'll try to say this, but it really is a mathematical tongue twister. Check it out and see if you can follow along. This might take you as many years as it took me. I'm raising b to an exponent. And what exponent is it? Well, a log is an exponent. So this is the exponent that I have to raise b to in order for it to equal x. So what is b to that exponent that I have to raise b to in order to get x? It's x. That make any sense? If it did, you're better than I. If not, it's something to look at and really try to understand and hopefully over time really make your own. For now, I just want to use these properties to have some fun computing various fun little logs. These are kind of great fun, I have to admit. You pull this out of parties, you're doing a sleepover at a friend's house, you want to do some logs. Check it out. What's log base square root of 5 of square root of 5? Well, square root of 5 to what power equals square root of 5? Well, the answer is 1, which is just an example of this property right here. Log base 2 of 1. Well, what exponent do I have to raise 2 to in order to make it equal to 1? Well, 2 to the 0. So that's just a, another way of expressing this in a special case. What about uh, log base uh, 8 of 8 cubed? Well, here I'm actually going to go back to the very definition of log, or you could use this one right here and say log base at 8 of 8 cubed equals 3, equals the cubed. Or you can go back to the definition and say 8 to what power equals 8 cubed? Well, the answer is 3. 8 to the third power equals 8 cubed. And then here's the one that I think is really, really tricky. I'm going to take 10, and I'm going to raise it to the exponent that's required to raise 10 to in order to have the answer be 7. So what is 10 to that exponent? The answer, 7. Again, really, really crazy. These two take a little bit of time. This one's not too bad. This one is horrendous. I remember talking to my teacher and talking for, for days upon days, and all of a sudden I had that aha moment. When I had that aha moment, everything clicked. And here's hoping for you an aha moment in logarithms real soon. Until then, just enjoy these fun properties of logarithms.